Hey everybody and welcome to my January 2016 favorites. It feels so weird to say 2016. This is the first month of the year, so let's get right into this. So my first favorite of the month is planner related and it is the Minnesota planner crawl that I got to attend. I will leave a vlog below of the weekend as well as I will leave a video of my Minnesota planner crawl haul below for you guys if you want to check it out. I had so much fun, met some amazing, amazing women. Some of them were actually shop owners that I had never met before but actually bought stuff from which was kind of cool and some of them I had just been following on Instagram for a very long time so it was really cool to meet everybody in person and you are going to be seeing this video on Friday and on the 31st which is Sunday I will be at another planner meetup which is not a crawl, it's a little bit different where we're just gonna hang out and we're not gonna go anywhere. So I'm really excited for that. And I wanted to let you guys know about a planner sticker shop that donated to the planner crawl that I actually bought some stuff from. So I have a bunch of her stickers right here. So this is kind of my honorable mention for the planner category this month. And this is from All From Catastrophe Designs. And the gal that runs this shop, her name is Christy, and I got to meet her at the crawl, and she's gonna be there on Sunday as well. And I just wanted to show you some of the really cool things that I got from her. So the first one, this was actually one of the items that was in the planner crawl haul. And then I ordered a couple of other things on my own. Actually, this was a gift that she gave me because on the planner crawl, it was actually my birthday, so it was really nice of her. And then I ordered some of these rainbow themed half boxes um, on my own. So yeah, I really love these and I actually have another order in to her and she's gonna be giving me those on Sunday when I see her. So I just wanted to shout out her shop. I will leave her links below and also follow her on Instagram as well. I will leave her Instagram below too. Um, she tends to post sales as well as any new releases and things like that on Instagram. So check that out below. As for food, I have been obsessing over oatmeal. Like, I don't know why, but oatmeal has just got me going this month. I think because it's really cold outside and you just need something warm in your stomach. So when I don't want to really like make a dinner or make like a big breakfast or even a big lunch, a bowl of oatmeal is like super satisfying to me. Um, and then I really like the Quaker brand. It's the instant oatmeal. I'm really liking the apple and cinnamon. I don't put anything extra in it at all. Just use the water like directed. And I love this stuff. It is so good. This and a little bit of hot tea. I'm golden. I am good to go. Love this stuff. As for skincare this month, I have been using and loving the heck out of this Rock Retinol Cor Correction Eye Cream. Um, I am like, if you can see, I'm like almost out of it. But this has made, I have been using this kind of like off and on for the last like six months or so. And I have using this religiously for the past about month or so, like right after the new year. And I have to say, this has made a really big difference in my under eyes. I know you guys can't see very well today because I'm wearing my glasses. I'm um, giving my eyeballs a break from the contacts for a little while. Uh, so sorry if there's a lot of like lens glare. Um, I've actually been thinking about getting some new glasses, but I haven't gone and done that yet. So maybe you'll see me with different glasses at some point. Um, but I really love this stuff. You can pick it up at the drugstore. I think I got this particular one at Ulta, but I know they have them at like Walgreens and CVS and any pharmacy. Um, also like Target, Walmart should have the Rock brand as well. And I will be leaving a link below for you guys if you're interested to check this out. As for cosmetics, I didn't really have anything like makeup-y to share, but I did want to share something that's kind of cosmetic related. This is a night lip balm and this is by co bigelow and the brand or that's the brand and then the actual name of the item is my favorite night balm eight hour overnight recovery this stuff is awesome i've been using the heck out of it and i've had this for probably a good six months 
but I put this on right before bed and it really helps the dryness and the patchiness that my lips get um, because I live in the north and it's super windy here and really cold and I'm out walking my dog three times a day at least my lips take a huge huge beating so this is super helpful at night to just kind of regenerate the lips so they don't get like all peely and cracky and stuff so i really highly recommend this i believe i got this either at ulta or sephora but again i will be leaving a link below if you guys are interested to check this out so as for netflix we gotta talk my favorite tv slash netflix of this month has definitely been making a murderer. Oh my God. I have a lot of opinions, which I will not get into because I don't know if everyone has seen it yet, but if you have Netflix, definitely check it out. Um, I am a huge fan of like Dateline, CSI, all those kind of like crime, drama, thriller, law and orders, all that stuff. So this is just a binge worthy Netflix marathon if you would like to watch it. It is so good and there are so many different like compounding layers of different things and like there's no right answer and I think there's no wrong answer either to people's theories of why they think someone or someone else did it. I don't know um, but it's just an amazing amazing story and it's really in-depth and interesting, so I would highly recommend that if you're into those types of things. As for music, I had to include this, and I know it's a really sad subject for everybody, but I had to include my album I've been listening to nonstop has been The Best of Bowie by David Bowie. Um, as all of you know, he did pass away in January, and it was very sad. And fun fact about me, my first ever crush was him in the labyrinth. I remember watching that at like my summer daycare place that I went to and they had the labyrinth playing all the time and I remember thinking, that guy is so cool, he's so cute. <laughs> so that's just a fun fact about me. My first ever like Hollywood, let's say with bunny ears, crush was David Bowie. And rest in peace David Bowie, you were an inspiration and I have been listening to this album non-stop. And as for fashion this month, I wanted to share my bag I have been carrying. It is the Whipping Post Tote. I will be leaving a link below if you're interested in checking that out a little farther. I did want to know, or did want to note, sorry, that um, there are a couple of embellishments on here and I wanted to sh kind of tell you what they were. My co-worker that does leathering work made this for me and I don't know if you can tell but there's like a little EG and those are just my initials and a little embossed flower on that so I put that on there and then this is actually from Target and it's from Belkin and I will leave a link below if I can find it and it's just like a USB cord with a lightning cord for your charger so you can charge things on the go but it just looks cute and decorative. So I've been carrying this like crazy. If you guys wanna see a updated what's in my bag video, leave me a comment or hit the thumbs up below and um, that'll let me know that you guys wanna see that and hopefully I can get another what's in my bag video of this up very soon for you guys if you're interested. So that is it, a short and quick and sweet little video from me for my January favorites. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. As always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.